I, I would like to say that, you know, in the BAS, we have always been pushing to keep land in agriculture. And anything that government can do to help keep lands in agriculture is important. I fear that what we have seen happening in the country today is that there are people who are speculating on agricultural lands. Zone 1 land, by the way, in some cases too. But they're speculating on these lands. And as a result of that, a lot of the lands that should be in agriculture are not going in agriculture. And I think something has to be done to at least encourage people, I use the word encourage, okay, to have these lands remain in agriculture. At the same time, I want to encourage government to, always, government to also look to see whether or not the current incentives regime that are there is actually adequate enough. We, look, we spend a whole set of money on other areas of the economy and we, we, are unlikely to, that we are unlikely to see any returns for. When you look and see the amount of money we are spending in the entertainment industries and, and, and you have to ask yourself, are we seeing the returns for those, for those, those things? Okay, All of those things. So what, what I'm saying is that we have to be fair at the same time to the landowners because agriculture is an expensive undertaking. Um, when you look at the, the fact that look, mistakes in agriculture you, you don't easily recover from. You, you take the whole question of an, a farmer goes up there, he faces the several, several challenges. The weather is one of them because the weather could actually come and destroy a, a whole farm production plan in a season. People sometimes don't understand that. Then there's pests. These are things that happen. Um, in the environment, and we, you can't account for them. So, in other words, because of the uncertainties that they are in agriculture, are in agriculture some, I think maybe we need to look at whether or not the current incentive regime is adequate to encourage farmers to first of all people to remain in agriculture, okay, and whether or not when there's a challenge or when they experience experience challenges, whether or not the amount of help being given to the farming community is actually adequate enough for them to overcome those challenges. So you have to be balanced. And that's what I'm asking, that in these things, yes, um, we, we, I would want to say that I am not wanting to encourage any last coming out of agriculture. Even I heard there was a recent meeting down in St. James where they're looking to take, again, agricultural land and put it under um, these, the, what they call, the, um, the photovoltaic cells. For, and, and the thing is really photovoltaic cells, okay? Some of these approvals, I keep on saying, are really a sham because some of these people that want to take this land and say they I call it you could call it solar farming it is no farming is an insult to the word farming to use it in that particular way because in truth and in fact what these people are doing is that they are actually taking good agricultural land they're not even doing sheep farming because if you look at how some of these these um the, the, the actual cells are, are positioned you can't do anything under them you cannot do anything under them you can't do sheep farming you can't do anything and i really think that we have to be extremely careful about those proposals. That is why you also have been insisting that any future approvals for uh, photovoltaic applications should go to farmers because I do not see why we are taking up good land space that we should be going crops on, okay, and putting all of these, um, the, 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 these photovoltaic cells on them. When we have farms that have huge use spaces, like, like, like um, pig farms, we have chicken farms, huge few spaces. That, that is, that, those are who need the approvals in, in going up because we already know that it is the, the, the capacity to approve now is getting full up. So anybody you know, who should be given preference should be an established farmer who has roof space that they can use and want to generate electricity, give those the approvals. Not people who are going and buying agricultural land okay, at cheap rates and look, looking to put solar uh, photovoltaic cells on them. That is not good enough. Mm -hmm.